Um, okay, so this one's a premature one, but I don't care because it's great. No, that's what it is. Virgil you Van say Dyke. Trent. Oh, I was about to say. You what? Virgil Van Dyke. No, he's a he's a fucking G. He almost had a blunder to color. <laughs> 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 he, did he not? Did he not? He was almost there. Yeah, yes, yeah, he, he was. was. He was in the talk. He was in the talk. Yeah. Yeah, he was almost there. And then when they said like Cristiano or Messi, his girlfriend was like, "I'm fucking leaving you." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, I'm biased. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, obviously. We but, all know that. But the way I really felt like it was Messi who got it over Van Dijk, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And I felt like Modric? that. Mm-hmm. No. Oh, no, 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 last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. It was messy. What the fuck are you watching? Just? And I felt that was, like that. That was the year before, innit? Obviously, there's going to be a bit more. The further closer <laughs> to the front of the pitch you get, there's more of a, a, a bias that you get more attention the further forward you go in the pitch. So the fact that it was up there was an amazing feat, anyway. And I feel like a lot of people's opinions of that was based on who was scoring the most goals. No, well, yeah, but like they would say, but Messi's better when the argument should be, but who had a better season? Mm. Mm-hmm. I I feel like Virgil van Dijk. I feel like the argument was was um, was poor. The arguments made for Messi were poor. I didn't really hear anybody speaking, saying that he had a better season. I heard people saying that he was a better footballer, and you kind <clears> of gets you. It kind of makes makes you feel like what well, even the fans are saying that nobody should be getting in the conversation between because they're generational talents and look what they've done. We're not talking about what they did this year. You're just talking about what they've done. Well, that's irrelevant. Yeah, you should, I, it should be I a clean slate every year. And Virgil van Dijk. Mm-hmm. It should be amazing year. And Virgil van Dijk, I don't feel like anybody has had an, an impact on a team the way Virgil van Dijk had an impact on Liverpool. Oh, as far as I've seen. seen. I changed. You should have seen the way I changed the MRTC. Thierry Henry. <laughs> oh no but I, I I was in the same position as like Virgil van Dijk okay. I was in the back let me change like, my statement then sorry I haven't seen a player affect a team you wear glasses the way, the way Virgil van Dijk affected why are you, why, Liverpool in these last why are you doing that that makes me feel so uncomfortable it gives me the bad goosebumps don't stop doing that please <laughs> it gives me the bad goosebumps I don't the like bad it. ones I don't like it yeah, you know you hear good music and it's like, oh, that music gives me chills. And I was like, yeah, those are the good goosebumps. And I said, like, you go, I don't know how to I feel like you're breathing on the back of my neck, sir. Stop it. You know what? I know you that I, control. Now, were good and bad, but I know what, what you mean. I didn't know there was good and bad goosebumps, but I know exactly what you mean because there oh, really are. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Um, okay, so Virgil van Dijk's controlled, calm, and confident demeanor on the pitch is very Thierry Henry esque. Get the fuck out of here! Yes, mate. yes, Shut I said rubbish. it. Yes. Do you know what? I I agree with him. There's I there's something about it's, it's, it's subtle. But uh, but it's, it's the it's the swag. It's the swaggy swag. It's swag. very you just compared Van Dijk to Henry. Yeah, on, I mean, no, it's, 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 no, it's not. It's not. It's different. not about what they do on the pitch. It's more more. Yeah, about I'm how talking about person as well. Like Van Dijk just, is actually like, he's he's if anything a little bit more reserved than Henry is. Henry's, okay, Henry's yeah, quite an he's, he's still, okay, Remember, well, he's younger, speaking isn't about, it? Remember, he's younger. I'm speaking yeah, so about Henry a specific was... feature. I'm speaking about a specific... Henry was young once. I'm speaking about <laughs> a specific... Hurt. I'm not getting butt hurt at all. It's just... He's, he's just talking on somebody who is still playing. Yeah. May not even be quite in his prime. And may just be declining from next season. So, I'm speaking about a specific... I mean, we're, we're, we are where we are. We can't talk about next season. We can't talk about what happens after this. Yeah, but we could talk... Well, we could, we talk could, about could all fall apart. This season. Fall, fall apart after this. It could do. Can't wait. But, but we don't know that yet. We ain't recording this in the future. We're recording this now. Mm. And I would and But you're I talking about say, current player now who literally, like, almost this I'm second... Speak, I'm not saying that Virgil van Dijk is on Thierry Henry levels. That is not He's what I said. He's in your top five. Alongside so Thierry Henry, Thierry Henry, yeah. I said his name earlier. I'm not even talking about Thierry, but you could think, surely, surely. Sure, look, look, Justin, you're just being butt hurt because because you don't feel like they're on the same level. Let him say what he's saying. Okay, you can say what you're saying. I'm not butt hurt though. I just think you could have done better. 
<laughs> you could have done better, Daniel. I'm actually disappointed. Hey, I mean, we'll continue. The, I'm going to say it again. These people who mean something to me and not, and <clears throat> and are in my eye line. I haven't paid much attention to any of these players. In fact, I probably should take Zinedine Zidane out of my list, but I, but I'd be, I couldn't really bring myself to do it. Because you chest but you chest but you. <laughs> you come and find us. You come and find us. You chest but each one of us. But the specific thing I spoke about in the par- in the parallel between Thierry Henry and Virgil Van Dijk that. Um, just the quiet, composed, you know that you know that he'll get it done. View of the player, and they generally do just get it done. Now, obviously, Thierry Henry is going to. Um... Yeah, Thierry Henry gets it done in the front, and Virgil gets it done in the back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That, that's that's all I thought. That's what is that not true? Oh, they spit roast in the football game. Well, if they were on the same team, but they played at different times, just like Justin said. What is different going times, on? Different <laughs> times. <laughs> what is yeah, happening here? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like, we are where we are. That, right it's, 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 it's that weird bar, like liquor in the front, poker in the back. All right, man. You guys, you need to you need to watch more memes. I baby. feel like we are witnessing. Um. The birth of, <laughs> you know, the birth of a, a true great the evolution. A man you said who's Daniel going Sturridge. To be... Yo, Daniel, Daniel Sturridge means something to me. Okay. Yeah, you're damn right. <laughs> oh, shit. You know, so many people are going to fight you on your list. Yo, let them, so many let them talk. I mean, obviously. Okay, listen. Let me be clear that there are better players. <gasps> There are miles better players. No there are way. better players than um, oh, let, let me say it, let me say it. Daniel Sturridge, more specifically. I'm on my list, they're better players than Daniel Sturridge. Just clearly better players. Um, like, without question, uh, five bets, five players at least, or more than five, 10 players, 15 players better than Daniel okay, Sturridge. Stop, stop. He might, he might listen at some point. But <laughs> I was put in the position to love Daniel Sturridge and love Steven Gerrard. So they are on my list. And I was I was able to love Thierry Henry. I was able to admire Zinedine Zidane. And I'm falling in love with Virgil van Dijk. All right. I'll talk to your missus. See. She can sort something out for you. There are things that Virgil van Dijk can do that my missus can't do for me, okay? <laughs> oh, no. Whoa. Whoa. Yo, I, I don't even know stop. what kind of tone I just took this then. Let me just stop. Justin, go on, man. <laughs> 